Good morning. It is Friday, the 25th of January, and today we're going to do our annual cost of living in Chiang Mai video 2019. I did miss 2018 and 2017, so this is going to be like, a, like an extra special cost of living because the last one, which I put a link in the in the description below, got 85,000 views. This, this is crazy, mental. So yeah, let's see if we can beat that this year with an extra special cost of living in Chiang Mai video. Let's, let's go, I guess. You all know the drill. I'm just going to drive around, and buy stuff, and look at prices. And comment sarcastically about things. Okay, so this is my bike, the Stallion Cafe Racer. It's a Thai brand, probably made in China, and this cost me 45,000 baht. I did overpay though. I will say that I could probably get the similar thing for about 35,000 baht. However, because I've been driving this for about two years now, it's more than paid for itself in in the savings from not having to rent a motorbike. Uh, the motorbike that I rented in the last video, posted below, uh, it was 2,500 baht a month, and I think that's about that's about average, maybe between 2,000 and 3,000 baht a month and uh, different security deposits of 1,000 or 2,000 baht. Uh, but if you are going to hang out in the city for, for more than a year, you really do need a, you need a motorbike. Okay, so moving on to accommodation. Uh, now I live here with my girlfriend and have done for a long time. She owns the property, so I can't really count that towards the, the accommodation costs. Uh, however, in the, the other videos, link below, there are, uh, there are two other ones, two other videos with a walkthrough of two fairly standard apartments in, in Chiang Mai. The, the last one that I was staying in, because I spent most of my time here, was just a, a very basic studio room and it was 3,500 baht a month. And the one that I stayed when I, I first moved to Chiang Mai, my first main apartment for about a year, was the the view doy mansions in Santitam, and that was 5,000 baht, which is very, very, very reasonable. I just narrowly avoided a police roadblock, which would have been 500 baht for not having my helmet, or... So the price for that for people who aren't looking where they're going is 500 baht. So I was driving through town uh, and I saw a big group of Westerners sitting on the street wearing like hippie clothes and you know, burning incense and stuff. And uh, it just makes me so mad. I had to, uh, I had to stop actually and like talk to them. Uh, I did record the footage, but it, it didn't it didn't work properly. So um, yeah. And anyway, as I was getting back from my motorbike. After sort of venting at them, telling them that what they're doing is 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 not cool, and if they can't afford to travel in Thailand, they should should not be here really. And as I was getting back on my bike, one of the one of them came to sort of talk to me, and he did kind of talk me round, and I feel a bit bad now. I am, um, yeah. I mean, my first impression was that they were they were they were just begging, but then when I got a bit closer, they were actually making jewelry. And it was quite nice, so yeah, I feel like on principle they shouldn't really be doing that. But then I've never been one for following rules, and they aren't begging; they are working. So I did go back later on and, and kind of, kind of, kind of apologise to the guy and say maybe I was a little bit strong with my with my opinions. As always, a little bit strong with you earlier. No, I, I don't feel strong. I don't no, feel I. Good friend has, has, has spoken to me and like this is your art like who am I to who am I to criticize that this is, I just, this is my art not very good art but but yeah so yeah I'm sorry about that good, good luck problem. good luck okay right. uh, and then, yeah he's he's doing his art so so yeah that guy not a bad guy his Argentinian friend not a bad guy making jewelry traveling the world Man, I feel bad about that. That means I was in the wrong. Always know I've done something wrong when I feel bad about that. Anyway. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, I do I do, do prefer 
do with a hot coffee. Uh, I find this kind of stuff too sweet. I don't really eat sweets or sugar that much. I'm more of a pie man than a cake man. Yeah. Yeah, I feel a bit bad about that. Mm. About that guy. About those guys. I really should. Yeah. I really should think three or four times about my position or opinion on something and the context of everything before I, I open my mouth and you know because once you've spoken to somebody you can't really take that back oh, I don't know let's talk about something else it's guilt I don't know anyway this coffee shop is lovely cafe de museum it's right in the center of town just opposite the three kings museum and three kings monument next to the big square in the in the center of the old town and uh, next to some strange art gallery heritage museum thing next to it. Uh, I've never been there, but this coffee shop's great. I came here for one of my first dates. In fact, it was the first date with my girlfriend. Three and a half years ago. Right, okay, so yeah, lunch, pretty typical. 40 baht normally, uh, rice, meat, a little bit of a, a bowl of soup, awesome. Uh, that was 47 baht in that place, but normally it's about 40 baht, 35 baht. Let's call it an average of 40 baht a day for lunch. That's 30 lunches in a month, 1,200 baht. Pretty cheap. So that means that if you've got your accommodation and you've got your motorbike and you have lunch every day, that's bringing the total up to 8,700 baht. Not bad. Moving on. Gaussip bar. Expensive coffee. Right, so R and I are gonna head out into the into the into the countryside. I've had, I've had, I've had a little bit of lunch. Just stopped off at the post office. I'm really hungry. You want dom yum, should Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Mm. How much was that? I think it's uh, 267 baht. 267 baht. Pretty good. Okay, so just to clarify with all of this, these prices are the minimum for me, I would say. Now, of course, the, the minimum to live comfortably is an objective thing. And yes, I know there are people, people who can spend less and have a great life, and there are people that can spend more and don't have a great life. So, so yeah, take each of this with a grain of salt. And the main thing is self-awareness, really. If you know that you need to live in a in a a very, very nice two bedroom apartment, then the prices are gonna be higher. If you can quite comfortably live live like a monk, well, you can probably cut all of this in half. But as I said before, this is my minimums. So rent, I would say 5,000 baht is gonna get you something more than, more than nice enough. Motorbike, if you've got a bicycle, it would be, well, free. Very, very cheap. But two and a half thousand baht a month is about right for a motorbike hire in Chiang Mai. Now we have lunch. As you can tell, this is this is soup. If you didn't know. So uh, lunch is gonna be 
about 40 to 50 baht a day. So that's 1,200 a month. Let's call it 1,500 because sometimes you might want a, a Coke or something with that. So that's, that's 1,500 baht. And then we have dinner. Now dinner is quite hard to calculate because you can spend 40 baht, but I don't tend to and I have a beer with it. So it can be anywhere from 100 to 200 baht. To stay on the safe side, let's call it 200 baht a day, which is 6,000 baht a month. And this one is probably where you can get most of your savings. And then we have ongoing visa fees, flights to Laos, Vientiane, and all these other places to, to do that. That does add up. Uh, I'm currently an education visa, and that was 25,000 baht for the, for the year. So let's say another 2,000 baht just for those fees and flights for, for your, your legal stuff, your immigration. And then at the bottom we have this gun here, which is other unnecessary but unforeseen uh, charges like getting stopped by police roadblocks. I reckon you're gonna get stopped at least once a month uh, and there might be a few other things, so let's put 1,000 baht there. Okay, so this doesn't include alcohol, of course, but let's give this a quick tally. We got 5,000, 7,500, 9,000, 15,000, 17,000, 18,000 baht. With that said, I have been spending about 50,000 baht, so I don't really know where the other 32,000 is going. I suspect a lot of it is going here.